Holland. The Dutch language copies of the Atlas of Creation were sent out to a number of schools and universities. Minister of Education Maria van der Hoven admits to not believing in chance in the evolution of living things. Dever Dieping Trouw, one of Holland's top dailies with a circulation of 105,000, carried a report on 26 July 2007 headed An Empire of Turkish Creationism. This provided a detailed account of Harun Yahya's life and referred to the impact of the Atlas of Creation. The Atlas, an expensive tome filled with propaganda against the theory of evolution, was sent free of charge to scientists, journalists and schools. The Atlas of Creation is a superbly designed book Weighing 6.6 .6 kilograms and at 800 pages, this stunningly attractive book is full of top quality photographs of fossils. Denmark. The 13 September 2007 edition of Politiken, Denmark's highest circulation daily, carried a report titled An Anti-Darwinist Bombardment. The article in the paper, which has a readership of around half a million, contained the following lines about the Atlas of Creation. An international campaign against the theory of evolution has hit Denmark. The book which holds Darwin responsible for Nazism and terrorism, among others, weighs 6.5 kilos and is 765 pages long. As he himself says, Harun Yahya has obtained good results from his campaign, which is now apparently about to conquer Europe. Darwin's theories face a final defeat. With his books, Harun Yahya means to give people an instrument to help them return their faith in God. The 13 September 2007 edition of Jitske Veskisten, a Danish daily with a circulation of 100,000, devoted a whole page to a report concerning the Atlas of Creation. The report included a picture of biology teachers examining the Atlas and went on to say, Jorgen Hvitved, who teaches biology, said, This is the most attractive book I have ever seen, as he leafed through its pages. This book, which questions Darwin's theory of evolution, was sent out to the school's seven biology teachers in June this year. Jorgen Hvitved was delighted to receive the book and will use it in biology classes on the theory of evolution. I shall tell my students that there are other ideas about evolution. There are millions of people in the world who believe in creation, and my students need to be aware of this, says Hvitved. This is an extraordinarily beautiful book. Polish Deputy Education Minister Miroslav Ortszczykowski has said that Darwin's theory is a lie and should not be taught in schools. In a statement recently issued at the Ministry of Education, the Polish Education and Deputy Education Ministers said, the theory of evolution is a lie and in the same way that wrong should not be taught instead of right, lies such as the theory of evolution should not be taught. This site, called Rajonalista, 
which receives an average of 10,000 visits a day, also provided information about the works of Harun Yahya. Some of the statements carried under the heading, A Major Creationist Muslim Offensive, read, This impressive book says that Darwinism underlies all kinds of evil mindsets. The atlas is 768 pages long and weighs 5.5 kilograms. It is a flawless work in A3 format and printed on very high quality paper. Its cloth cover contains holograms of animals. The book contains thousands of colored illustrations, graphs and diagrams. Such books are very expensive in bookshops. But this book has been sent out free of charge to many people around the world. Northern Ireland The Belfast Telegraph, which enjoys a circulation of more than 100,000, described Turkey as the headquarters of creationism. It interpreted the increasing decline in the number of believers in evolution in Turkey and the fact that 99% of the people believe in God as a consequence of Harun Yahya's work. Spain El Periódico, a Spanish daily, carried a report about the Atlas of Creation in its 29 March 2007 edition. The report in the paper, which appears in Spanish and Catalan language editions and has a circulation of 150,000, was titled, Barcelona University Professors Receive a Mysterious Book Against Darwin, and said, According to statements by Francisco Javier Casado from the Central Library, one of the recipients of the book, this volume is 800 pages long and luxuriously printed and contains illustrations and photographs of an extraordinary high quality in which all possible colors are employed. The dean of the biology faculty goes on to say, the atlas is spectacular with an exceedingly luxurious appearance and visually perfect photographs and with all colors being used. Serbia Minister of Culture Liljana Kolic recommended that evolutionary history be removed from primary school lessons or that, as an appropriate alternative, creationist education should also be provided. Italy A large Italian daily, Libero, carried a long report titled Creationists, Is Darwin to Blame for September 11th? on 20 May 2007. The report devoted wide space to the works of Harun Yahya. In its 19 June 2007 edition, Avenire, a daily newspaper affiliated to the Roman Catholic Church and based in Milan, the center of the Italian press, carried a second report concerning the Atlas of Creation. The report in the Italian language paper, which enjoys a circulation in excess of 100,000, was written by Fiorenzo Facini and said, the monumental Atlas of Creation by the Turkish Muslim author Harun Yahya, real name Adnan Oktar, was written for that purpose and maintains that the history of life on earth is to be explained in terms of creation with no evolutionary process being involved.